Damasak, a border town in Moba local government area of Borno State, was liberated from the hold of the insurgents in 2017. But it appears the insurgents have not given up on the town. In 2020, a UN helicopter was shot in Damasak, barely managing to fly to safety. In a recent attack, a UN food storage and other facilities were destroyed by the insurgents. According to villagers' accounts, the insurgents had declared upon arrival that none will be hurt. What we saw with our eyes on that day, they entered around 4 p.m. until daybreak. We were hearing them giving instruction on the houses to be burnt. We heard everything until they finished and left. And the gunshot in the town was so much, we didn't know where to hide. We buried up to 12 people. There are a lot of our people by the riverbank at the Niger border. It's just about five minutes' drive from here. They were speaking Hausa, Shua, Kanuri and Fulani languages. They told us not to run, that they won't touch us. Those that died were killed by stray bullets. They were not direct targets. My daughter's husband has been abducted. They came in around 4 p.m. and started shooting. My son-in-law is a civilian JTF member. They made him show them some selected houses belonging to their targets, which they burnt one by one. Then they still took him away. Until this day, we haven't heard anything about him. Before the attack, about 200,000 civilians lived in Damasak. Half of that population has now fled to Niger for safety. They joined about 126,000 people already taking refuge there. Just a few of the villagers have, however, mustered courage to return. We spent two days in the bush. We left because the gunshots became unbearable. We left with our children to Gamari, then to Niger Republic. Some of those who could not find a place to stay are just sitting by the roadside as I speak. Governor Babagana Zulum, however, is worried about the repeated attacks on Damasak. He wants the federal government to intervene and save the town from falling again. We can afford to see another humanitarian situation that will compound the existing situation that we have. This town has a population of about 200,000 population. The Nigerian, Nigerian government is tired of supporting them. So we are pleading to the Nigerian army. We are pleading to the federal government to ensure provision of adequate protection to this very important community so that they can live in peace and harmony. According to him, the continued attacks would worsen displacement, which strains the Nigerian government, currently catering to about 126,000 Borno residents. <laughs>